Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready, baby? Are you ready? 14th Region Championship Basketball. Let's get it on. Here from the John C. Combs Arena in Perry County, the great city of Hazard, hosting the 14th Region Tournament. Maybe it's painted red and black, but it's filled with blue and white tonight. Yeah. I'm telling you what, the fans have packed it in here, Sean Noble. Well, they've come to see the Bobcats, and they've come to see these Commodores try to enter their way into the uh, 14th region crown and, and go to Rupp Arena. Trip to Rupp on the line. You can't you can't ride it up any better. I mean, it's, uh, it's a heavyweight matchup in the making every time these two meet. Uh, Commodores on a big comeback, you know, put, put it away in Bretha County at the Coliseum. Right. Behind the shooting arm of Trayton Woods in the first matchup. Yeah, Trayton Woods, a deadly shooter uh, for the Commodores. He, uh, he, he put the knife in the in the, in the and made the wound open up on that one because I mean uh, Breathed had all had had already secured that game it seemed like and uh, everybody in the Coliseum thought it was a win and uh, including myself and, and uh, you know they were able to knock that down and and do it but both teams are playing really well at the end of the year here uh, obviously they're in the uh, championship game so uh, you know Breathed County uh, has to go out and be mentally tough. And, uh, and and take it to them. I mean, it's electric in here. The the Bobcat Nation has shown up tonight. Well, there's so many backstories behind this game and plots that we could talk about. We we would run out of time if we started a half an hour ago. Uh, there, you know, there's so many stories that can back up both of these clubs and things that both of them have done throughout the season. And both of them have done the little things right here at the end of the year. The Bobcats really turning it on, pulling an upset against the Bulldogs here the other night and of course Perry Central able to put away Letcher in a good game just yeah, previous to that. Yeah, in an outstanding game, uh, you know, uh, uh, Letcher Central mounted a, a furious comeback in the second half and uh, was able to get their turnover short up and, uh, you know, and the, you know, the Bobcats with Hazard, I mean, they've been a thorn in their side for a long time and uh, it was a, a, just a, a hard fought, gritty win. Christian Collins goes to the line at the end, uh, sinks two clutch free throws. Austin Sperry, uh, for the Bobcats, a uh, really big, uh, integral part of their offensive uh, production at the end of that game, and and uh, they just both really stepped up. They're going to need that kind of effort uh, tonight against the Commodores. Sean Noble, my friend, you're going to be here beside me right through in the home, right in the thick and the thin of it. Two things I notice: the Commodores look very focused. They look they look a little bit tight right now in the warmups. Very focused, no emotion on the face. Right. The Bobcats come out smiling, yeah. eager to get to the hoop, going through the warmups, and they look a little loose. They look a little anxious at yeah. the same time. They yeah. look like they're having a good time. They do, but 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 they were quick even in their warmups. Right. So we'll see how that plays out for both of these clubs. And uh, I tell you what, if if community support. Has got anything to say yeah, about it? About, we might have to have one of those meters that measures the, yeah, the sound yeah, in the here. Crowd yeah, folks, stay right here with us. We're glad you all are tuned in to Bluegrass Sports Nation. It's going to be a great one here tonight from the John C. Combs Arena. We'll take a commercial break and we'll be back here on BSN. This is a story about purpose. This is a story about progress, about building on our past accomplishments and investing in innovation. All of this combined with our industry-leading insurance, competitive pay rates, and flexible scheduling is the reason why now is the time to join our team. This is our story. Let it be your story. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Yeah, like for full terms and conditions. The new year is bringing exciting high school basketball action to courts across our region, and Rose Brothers is happy to help bring these games into your homes. Rose Brothers is your source for basketball and all athletic shoes, and Under Armour and Nike athletic apparel to put your athletes in the game, or even help you keep those New Year's resolutions. With lots of winners still ahead, come see us for deals on fleece and outerwear too. When you have the chance, get out and support your local teams and the boys and girls of your local schools. And when you can't, Rose Brothers will be helping Bluegrass Sports Nation bring it to you. 
EDQ Sales and Services, formerly known as Jackson Wholesale Company, is a locally owned and operated convenience store and grocery store supplier with a full line of products. They have ice cream, groceries, meat, dairy, candy, and more. They even have janitorial supplies including Tactical Strike Disinfectant. Tactical Strike has been approved by the EPA to kill the virus that causes COVID-19. Give PDQ a call today at 606-666-2495. Go Time is a locally owned and operated convenience store that has all your wants and needs in one stop. We have everything from quick snacks and cold drinks, a full service deli, fresh coffee bar, soft serve ice cream and milkshakes. Also, make sure you try our Chester's Fried Chicken. Go Time, where the customer always comes first. Refuel your tank, refill your cup and refresh your taste buds all in one stop at Go Time. Wolf County is widely known as a rock climbing and hiking destination, but is now quickly becoming known for its great restaurants and entertainment venues. Venues like Skybridge Station, where you can see live music on the weekends or go to Tuesday night trivia. Kells Patriot Pizza, Spanx Franks, Dixie Freeze, The Finca, 145 Stakeout, which has live music most weekends, The Brick, Red Point Barbecue, and bites and bargains. Wolf County is naturally gorgeous, and Wolf County Tourism invites you to stop in and try one of these great restaurants on your next visit. Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply in Jackson, Kentucky is proud to serve Breathitt, Lee, Wolf, Morgan, Owsley, Perry, and Madison Counties. Established in 1982 with over 40 years of service to those communities, Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply can not only meet your electric and plumbing needs, but also heating and cooling, concrete and metal septic tanks, as well as your special orders. Call Scott and the gang today at 606-666-4052. Well, we are back, folks, from the John C. Cones Arena. Sean Noble, it's getting loud in here, buddy. Yes, it is getting loud. And uh, uh, like you said before, you know, the Bobcats, they look, uh, they, they look focused. They look ready. They're, they're not tight. Uh, really looking good. And, and, you know, why not? You know, uh, they got nothing to lose. They haven't been there in a while. And, uh, they, uh, they just let it all hang out and play. Bat battled through a lot of adversity this year with their coaches. And, uh, you know, uh, and they really, really uh, responded to the to the task. Electric atmosphere, and I've heard many people say, and I've read it a lot on Facebook, that uh, Saturday's games were two of the, not only two of the best games in high school basketball yeah. in the 14th region, but two of the best basketball games folks had ever witnessed. And that one with Hazard, especially with these Bobcats, will go down in the books. And of course, that first game with Perry and Letcher was a very tight one, and Perry able to squeak that one out. Folks, sit back and enjoy this next one because this is probably going to be one for the ages as these two teams battle for the opportunity to go to Rep Arena. Uh, we, we were talking in the pre-pre-game uh, before you guys uh, were on live listening to us about the matchups on the court. Sean Noble, we've got some of the best matchups, player for player, one-on-one, -on -one, that you'll find in the state of Kentucky here tonight. Well, we do. That's a great point, Rob. They, uh, uh, you know, they, both teams match up really well. You, you know, you take the final four of this region, and, uh, uh, you know, anybody can beat anybody, obviously, on any given night. But those matchups athletically uh, and as far as, like, points being scored per game, uh, their production on rebounding, uh, turnover assists, and things like that, they are actually uh, really, really matched up, uh, you know, very closely. Austin Sperry, uh, you got Austin Sperry, you got Tyler Day. Uh, on the opposite end of that, you got Luke Bellamy, you got Ridge, Beverly, uh, you know, it, all the way down the line here, Christian Collins uh, going up against uh, uh, Kaiser Sloan. Uh, just uh, the big names are out. And, uh, you know, I think uh, for the Bobcats, Andrew uh, Combs is going to be big. Uh, he's been, he provided defense, and uh, it's going to be a, a big night. Folks, I tell you what, we can't say how much we appreciate you tuning in on Blue Hair Sports Nation. As usual, we'll take a break during the national anthem. And as soon as that's over and we run this commercial break, we'll be back for tip-off. 14th Region Championship Basketball here on BSN. Variety Pizza. Family owned and operated, serving the community with homemade and handcrafted pizzas, sandwiches, salads, and more for over 45 years. 
located at 1189 Main Street, Jackson, Kentucky. Available for dine-in and carry-out with private party spaces available. Stop by and visit us or call 606-666-5454. and hometown pharmacies have been serving Breathitt County for over 20 years and are proud to support our local athletes. They are hometown owned and operated by Portia and Everett Dunaway. Portia and Everett want you to know that family and hometown pharmacies are here for you. Give them a call today at 606-666-5519 or 606-666-5500. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. We strive to use our knowledge, talents, and resources to improve the quality of life in our communities. This year, People's Bank is celebrating our 120th anniversary by delivering 120 acts of kindness. These acts of kindness bring us just as much joy as to those that receive them. People's Bank, working together, building success. Lakeside Homes, located in Jackson, Kentucky, has been serving Breathitt and surrounding counties for over 27 years. They have new manufactured homes from Norris, Clayton, and Fleetwood. Single wides, double wides, and also an assortment of quality used homes. Many financing options available, offering site prep, delivery, and setup for a no-hassle experience. To find your new home, visit them at 42 Jets Drive in Jackson or on the web at www.lakesidehomesjackson.com or call 606-666-7558. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Sticky notes are part of our daily lives, and people have found some pretty creative uses for them. As Kentucky's insurance company, we appreciate the resourcefulness and the fact that billions of sticky notes are made each year right here in the Commonwealth. And we think that's something Kentuckians find pretty noteworthy. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, big on commitment. I was born and raised in Leslie County, and now I live and maintain my law practice in Hazard. I came back home to the mountains to fight for mountain people. At Wilder and Mosley Injury Law, we love our communities and the people that live in them. We want you to know that you have two attorneys fighting for you as hard as they possibly can that grew up in the communities and work in the communities that you're from. If you've been injured in a car wreck, a slip and fall, or by an act of negligence, call us at Wilder and Mosley Injury Law. We are East Kentucky's trial team. of the national anthem that pulls at your heartstrings. Yes. And friend, that young lady just did an excellent job from Prairie Central. Outstanding. Oh, the prayer was pretty good too, wasn't it? Excellent prayer, encouraging these communities as before we divide ourselves and cheer for these two basketball teams. 
to remember that we are here united as one community to survive after July 28th. Amen. Folks, we are ready for starting lineups as the Big Bracket logo comes up on the Perry Central big screen in the corners. Yeah. Number zero, the man cleaning the boards, Christian Collins with two huge free throws on uh, Saturday. Number four, Luke Bellamy, three-point reigning leader for Brevet. Cool hand, Luke. Number five, Bryce Hoskins. Number 14, Austin Sperry. And number 32, Andrew Combs. That'll be your starting lineup for the Brethet Bobcats as they meet center court, put their heads together for one last time here in this 14th Region Championship to, to try and get their opportunity and cash the ticket. So rubber in all blue tonight. Yes, sir. For Perry Central, number 10, one of the greatest point guards not only in the state, but in this region, Ridge Beverly. Number four, Landon Smith. Number 35, Dylan Knight. Number 11, Trayton Woods. And number 23, Tyler Day. Sean Noble, between those 10 players that I just announced for the starting lineups, a lot of those same young men fought that battle there in the Coliseum last year in the 14th Region uh, Championship Tournament. A lot of these guys, they know each other well. They've played each other so many times throughout the last few years. And this one is going to be one for the books, one that all these young men will remember. All the marbles are on the line right now. We're getting ready to tip it up, folks. Uh, get the popcorn, strap your seatbelt on, uh, tune in, and uh, let's uh, let's get it on. Bobcat Nation already on their feet here in front of us. Let's get ready. Yeah. We're waiting on a basketball. We're waiting on a referee. It's going to be delivered again. Young man bringing the ball onto the court. Referee checking the bounce. Make sure it's not deflated. <laughs> uh, make sure we don't have a Tom Brady in the house. Championship basketball. Here we go. 14th region. This is it, folks. You're watching Big Red Sports Nation. The Cats and the Commodores. Here we go. Tip. Pulled down by Spurry. Actually knocked out of there by Knight, I believe. Spurry walks it up front and center. He'll pass it over to Luke Bellamy. Bellamy back around to Combs. Now to Spurry inside the Hoskins. Hoskins will make a spin in the lane, up off the backboard, and the big man, Bryce, oh, for the my, first basket. My goodness, Bryce Hoskins with the spin and win, left hand to the basket, beautiful move. Beverly puts a move in the lane, goes up no good, rebound pulled down by Luke Bellamy. These Bobcat fans are crazy here tonight, and I don't uh, think anybody's taking a seat on this side of the gym. All right, this is, is everybody's on their feet. Sperry over to Bellamy now, back to Sperry. Looking inside, he finds Collins. Collins will dish it to Cool Hand Luke for the three. In and out, off the rim. Rebound down to Landon Smith. He'll get it to Beverly. Shoots it up to Tyler Day, and he'll pull the trigger on the three. No good. Beverly there to pull down the rebound. Goes inside, missed the pass. Errant pass wasn't handled, and Luke Bellamy will come up with it. Bellamy back, back around front and center to Austin Sperry. Spurry getting the call from Coach Kyle Moore on the sideline on his feet, too. Top of the key now to Bellamy. Over in front of us to Spurry. Dished inside. And Dylan Knight going to take that pass away. Woods will get it up to Ridge Beverly. Now back to Trayton Woods over to Tyler Day. Day looking inside. Doesn't see what, anything he likes, so he'll bring it back to Ridge Beverly and reset it front court. Good job by Ridge. Reset his team. Woods with it now. Andrew Combs all over him. Dylan Knight will take it out top of the key, looking to get an open man. He finds Ridge Beverly. He goes up for the scoop, shot no good, but he'll draw the foul on Austin Sperry on the way to the basket. Good job by Ridge uh, getting to the basket. Bobcats got to watch this back pick here. Uh, they freed up uh, Tyler Day on that, uh, but uh, you got to stay in front of your man. Uh, if not, you get, uh, gonna get the get the payment. 6:15 early on, Cats up two to nothing. 
Ridge Beverly at the line, trying to tie it up. Here's his first free throw. It's up, and it rolls off. No good. And Ridge, a 59% free throw shooter this year. Uh, he's uh, not shot that many, of course, so he's not uh, he's not in there. But but uh, that's one of the guys you'd look to foul late in the game, uh, him or uh, Day. And I'll tell you what, even the most focused ball player would be hard-pressed to, to hit a shot with that hip section of Griffith by right. Hyman. Yeah. Shot was no good, comes off the rim and tied up jump ball as uh, Sperry and Hoskins both went after it. But guess who? Ridge Beverly there to tie it up. I was going to say I saw uh, Hazel shoot those arch free throws. That bridge uh, is kind of rivaling there. Yeah. Smith going to drive in the lane, puts up the little one-handed shot, no good. Christian Collins there for another rebound. They'll get it off to Sperry. Sperry across midcourt. Still got a two to nothing score, six minutes left in the first. Coach Kyle Moore calls that to play. Bellamy. Cross court to Combs. Combs barely got the hand on that. Little attempt to drive in. They kick it back out to Luke Bellamy now. Bellamy inside to Hoskins. Bellamy cuts back looking for a three. He gets a spot, puts it up off the backboard. No good, but there's Combs for a rebound and a pullback. Andrew Combs, Johnny on the spot, really, really provided the fire for the Bobcats the past uh, uh, week. Uh, as they've been playing this tournament. Andrew comes back down the court, hands fist clenched. That's emotion. That was a great play by Andrew. As you watch Smith drive to the basket, loses the handle, it goes out of bounds, but they'll say that they'll say that Collins knocked it loose. Yeah, good play by Collins. And Beverly will inbound it for the Commodores. Looking, looking. He finds Tyler Day over on the right wing in front of the breath at bench. Day will dribble around. He'll take that shot. Nice little jump shot. No good off the back of the iron. Commodore's drawing cold here in the first quarter on a, on a high percentage shot. Yeah, they've, been, they've got a couple good looks. They've also had a, a couple free throws there, too. So 5-0-3. Cats up four to nothing. And Andrew Combs is going to be called for the carry. The infamous carry call. 4-58. Commodores will inbound the ball right in front of their bench. Woods will bring it in to Ridge Beverly. Beverly will call out the offense as he walks across the midcourt stop. Over on the right wing to Woods now. Combs with a hand up in front of him. Top of the key to Smith. Now back to Beverly on the left wing. Back out Tyler Day, top of the key, looking inside for Woods, cutting through the lane. Perry in their flex cut offense, looking for the baseline cut. Woods now back to Day. Day wanting to take Sperry off of his step. Thinks twice about that, passes to Beverly. Being very methodical right here. Yes, sir. Good defense by the Bobcats, switching everything. Bobcat Mason on the feet, cheering on this defense. Beverly wanting to take Bellamy in the lane, but he comes back out today. Now Smith with it. You can tell these two teams have played each other a lot. Oh, they, yeah. They, are, they know each other's moves. Day comes back out top of the key to Beverly. Beverly wants to take Bellamy in the lane. Kicks back to Day now. And we got a whistle. And we called on Luke Bellamy. And, and I don't like that call just for one reason. I, I mean, he probably yeah. did foul him, but he didn't lose the ball, you know, and they've been actually uh, letting him play here. Yeah. They will inbound it. He'll kick it back to Ridge Beverly. Turns back to look for Coach Shannon Hoskins. Ho Coach Hoskins has been in this position many times. Yes, the coach for the Commodores. Dylan Knight tied up with it on the elbow. He'll kick it out to Smith. Smith now to Beverly. Beverly calls for the pick. Gets by the pick, goes in the lane, puts up the floater. In and out, no good. Pulled down by Christian Collins. And the Bobcats are running. Here goes Austin Sperry. Finds that sixth gear up to the rim. And the Cats are up six nothing. And Coach Hoskins says that's enough. they got to have a 30 second timeout. Yeah. And we'll take it with them here on Big Red Sports Nation. Variety Pizza. Family owned and operated, serving the community with homemade and handcrafted pizzas, sandwiches, salads, and more for over 45 years. Located at 1189 Main Street, Jackson, Kentucky. Available for dine-in and carry-out with private party spaces available. Stop by and visit us or call 606-666-5454. Special thanks again to all of our tournament sponsors here on Bluegrass Sports Nation, Appalachian Regional Healthcare. More health, more care. ARH is more for Appalachia. 
Appalachian Wire is serving Eastern Kentucky. Better service, bigger savings. Get the best phones on the Appalachian Advantage plan. PDQ Sales and Service form the Jackson Wholesale, serving the wholesale needs and supplying Eastern Kentucky. Go time, refresh, refill, and refuel at eight great locations to serve you better. Back to the action here on the court at John C. Combs Arena. Wiping up some moisture on the court in front of the Breathick bench as the referee is just ready to hand the ball off to Ridge Beverly, who will inbound it to Woods and get it back. Beverly across midcourt. Coach Hoskins wanting to get the offense set. Here the Commodores down early, six to nothing. Have not scored, 3.15 to go. Bill Knight going to step back and shoot the three, and he buries it. The big man hits the tray. Yeah, great shot by Dylan Knight, and he can step out and hit yep. that. Uh, Bryce Hoskins is going to have to go out there with him. Three minutes on the clock, six to three. Cats up three points, big shot. From Bill Knight to cut the lead in half. Perry Central switching to a 2-3 zone. Cats passing the ball around the court now. Spurry calls the offense. Gets Bellamy on the move. He passes in the middle to Hoskins. Hoskins back out to Luke, who will shoot the three. Bottom of the net for Luke Bellamy. Nine to three, Cats. Luke, Luke says, uh, give me that shot over here. Nothing but net. Day now. Inside the woods, he'll stop, put up the long jump shot. That boy can shoot. Trey the Woods, money on the long two there. Nine to five. That was a two? Yeah, that was a two inside the three-point arc. Cats go back to work. Spurry to Bellamy, over in the corner to Collins. Now back out to Spurry. Cross court to Combs. Now back to Spurry. Now back to Combs. Back and forth. They play pitch and catch over in the corner to Collins. Coach Hoskins says, I'm out of the zone after that shot by yeah. uh, Luke Bellamy. Let's go back man. Luke will pass it off to Austin Sperry, top of the key. Now back to Luke Bellamy. Bellamy goes to work to Christian Collins in the corner. Now back to Sperry. Offense picking up speed a little bit now for the Cats. Combs back to Sperry. Trying to get an open man under the basket. Maybe looking for Collins to break free. Yeah. Get a pick from Collins and Bellamy with another three off the arc. Off the side of the rim and skied up the rebound, but Wood's going to clean it up to the Commodores and bring it back down, back down court. Ridge Beverly takes a look at the clock, calls the offense and gets set. He'll pass it out to Knight. Now back to Beverly, now to Woods. Woods dumps it inside to Knight. He'll spot up for the jump shot. No good. Goes back up with his own rebound. A powerful move to the basket for Dylan Knight, and it's good. Commodores within two, nine to seven. Bryce came out and contested uh, yeah. for the shot, but you have to box out after you do that. Less than a minute here to go in the first, and we've got a game, nine to seven. Cats up two over the Commodores. All right, you see how they do? They they're calling out their uh, their, yeah. their zone offense, and uh, they're kind of matching up out of this two-one-two kind of set here, and they're just switching on the yeah. other side. Spurry with it now, top of the key. He'll be content to take the last shot with about 34 seconds on the clock. Spurry wanting to take Woods down the lane. He's picked up by Knight inside. They dish it into Hoskins. Hoskins goes up off the backboard. No good. Collins there pulls down the rebound, but it's tied up. And we got a whistle. And There's a jump ball. Jump ball called, and possession mm-hmm. will stay with the Cats just to our right. 22.9 seconds on the clock. Left here in the first quarter, cats up two, nine to seven. Christian Collins gets that rebound off the glass. Yep. Yeah, he stuck it right there. Spurry inbounds, finds Collins, the long arms in the corner. Back to Spurry now. Spurry will drive in the lane up over Brandon Smith, and it's good. By Spurry, 13 seconds. Smith will bring it down for the Commodores. That was a tough shot, Rob. Yeah. He went straight down the lane from the side. Yeah. Not much of an angle at the goal, but he finds the rim and gets the basket. Beverly will take the last shot for the Commodores off the back of the iron. No good. And that'll bring us to the end of the first quarter. 11 to 7. Cats up four. We'll be back after this message. Hey, good, good quarter. Uh, good good quarter. quarter. This is a story about purpose. This is a story about progress, about building on our past accomplishments and investing in innovation. All of this combined with our industry-leading insurance, competitive pay rates, and flexible scheduling is the reason why now is the time to join our team. 
This is our story. Let it be your story. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Yeah, like for full terms and conditions. All right, folks, we are back. Bluegrass Sports Nation. Thanks again to all of our sponsors. Steak and Shake here in Hazard. Great food and great price. Wolf County Tourism. Wolf County is naturally gorgeous. Come see all Wolf County has to offer. Stop by and see Scott for all your plumbing, electrical, and heating needs at Jackson Electric and Plumbing. And Rose Brothers Department Stores with locations in Jackson and Bateman. Shop in the store or online at rosebrothers.com. Good to see Donovan and Mike before the game. And double quick, get it on the double at double quick, and we are back to the action. Bellamy turns and looks for Day, and Day says, hey, I'm cutting down the lane, where's it going? Beverly turns and walks away, ball out of bounds, turnover for the Commodores, and the Cats will take it. That's their double stack uh, pick, and they run it that way, but the, uh, the action is really back the other way. They, they can turn around and go, uh, you look this way, we're going that way. A little frustration on the backcourt for the Commodores. During that exchange, as the errant pass goes out of bounds, Katz will take an opportunity. Collins will kick it in the corner to Combs. A high arch and three, no good. Combs pulls down the rebound, knocked loose. Ball tipped. Tate Woods comes down with it. And Clark Castle is holding on to Collins' leg. Castle had both arms hugged around Collins' leg and would not let him off the ground. And the ref is just trying to calm things down. He don't want to call a technical on either player. The ref, the ref uh, is not going to call yeah. either way. And they just got it's hung so up. early in the game. Yeah. Everybody's hollering for a technical foul. Uh, good no call there. So it's 7-23, a pivotal moment already here in the second quarter. In the first half, the refs with a no call. They'll let that one go because they want to let them play. Yeah, big, uh, big switch of momentum for either team if there's a, is a call made. Right. And how do you justify either one? Who, yeah. yeah, who is who is the blame on that one? Uh, right? Usually the first guy gets it. Yeah, you know? exactly. Uh, but uh, seven on nine. If anybody's upset, it should be the the Bobcats. Oh yeah, yeah, and they are. Woods out front now to Tyler Day with Austin Sperry on him. What a matchup between those two young men. Man. And as I say that, Beverly and Luke Bellamy are spotted up at center court. There's another good matchup. Drayton Woods with it now. Woods will pass over in the corner to Carter Castle. Castle back out to Beverly. And Beverly Castle looking inside. Stretch, trying to stretch the defense, getting yeah. it out there, uh, making, making Hoskins come away from the basket. Beverly will drive inside. he will kick it back out now to Knight. Knight cross court today and Day will shoot the three and it goes all over the rim and the backboard and it drops in. Big shot for Tyler Day. 6.20 on the clock. Commodores pull within one. 10 to 11. Sperry will pass it to Bellamy. Now back to Sperry. Other side of the court now to Andrew Combs. Back to Sperry. Sperry will drive. Picked off by Tate Woods. Woods going to go down to the hoop. He'll shoot the layup off the backboard. No good. Sperry pulls down the rebound. Loses it. Woods Beverly comes up with it. Beverly goes up. Blocked by Sperry. Barrett Sperry tries to save it out of bounds. <laughs> Beverly with the sportsmanship to go over yeah. and help Sperry up. What yeah. athleticism yeah, in that yeah. short series. Oh, yeah. And Sperry comes back after turning the ball over, gets the huge rebound. Yeah. And, then, and then the uh, block. And then the block shot right there. So, uh, uh, you know, man, what hustle we're seeing tonight. I told you, folks, you can uh, you can forget about the NBA and college right now because you're not going to find basketball any better than this 14th region championship between the Commodores and the Cats. Smith turns in the lane. The footballer goes up, shot no good. Sperry pulls down the rebound. The young man's a fine football player, too, for the Commodores. Yes, he is, and uh, and uh, so is uh, Sperry, a fine football yes, player for the, for the Bobcats. Sperry gets a little pick from Collins, but he passes cross court to Bellamy. Bellamy goes to work on Woods now. Over to Sperry. Sperry will drive one on about four as he yeah. goes in the lane. 
But you're right, Rob. If you don't like basketball at this level uh, of competition right now between these uh, uh, two schools, uh, you, uh, you're in the wrong business. Maybe, maybe I'll try croquet. Yeah, right? <laughs> Sperry will go to the line. He drove down the lane and uh, couldn't get the shot to fall, but he drew the foul. He, he drew the attention of about four Commodores as he went through the lane, tried to split them, went up for the shot, no good. First foul shot is off the rim, but he'll toe the line for the second one now. The shot is up, and it's good. It rains out and back to a two-point lead for the Cats, and we got a, no, I thought we had timeout, but we got a substitution coming in as Isaac Bellamy will come in for Cousin Luke. Got the, got the headband matching again. Ever yes, since sir. they've uh, donned those headbands, uh, they've been on a, a mean streak. <laughs> Beverly now picked up by Isaac Bellamy. Beverly passes it around to Smith. Landon Smith backing in against Spurry. Shot no good. And Hoskins went up to the rebound, and he'll be fouled by Carter Castle. Tyler Sloan doesn't, drive any, doesn't draw anything on that shot. And uh, Bobcat basketball. Commodores have got... Uh, uh, I thought we had a substitution, but I guess I'm wrong. So, yeah, Beverly went out, and uh, we got Castle Castle, and uh, Sloan and Day and Knight and Woods in the game. And Beverly will get a little bit of a breather. Isaac Bellamy now with it. Passes over to Andrew Combs. Combs looking inside over in front of the PCC bench. He'll pass it across court to Hoskins. Now in the corner to Isaac Bellamy. Isaac picked off by Trayton Woods. And we got a foul called on the floor. Looks like on, uh, we're going to get, that'll be, that'll be on Isaac. No, is it? He showed the wrong, yeah, 24. He's got the number right now. Yeah, and now he's got the yeah, number He's got right, the right yeah. number now. So, uh, Trayton Woods pickpocket on Isaac Bellamy. And he Bellamy. sure didn't have that number up on that one. No, he, he was showing yet. 12. Yeah. That's yeah. why I thought he meant maybe a foul on Woods. Uh -huh. The foul will go on Isaac Bellamy. That's his first. So Woods with the pickpocket. Bellamy tries to get back to the ball and called for the foul. Woods will bring it up the court over to the right wing. He'll shoot the long three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound pulled down by Hoskins. Hoskins up the court now to Sperry. Sperry will walk it across the midcourt stripe. Over on the right wing. He wants to go in the lane. Dishes back to Hoskins. Now back to Sperry. Perry with Tyler Day all over him. Ridge Beverly up off the bench, going to the scorer's table. He'll be coming in on the next break. Big three for Isaac Bellamy from the corner. He says, hey, Cousin Luke, I can do it too. And shoots the three from the corner, and it's money for the Bobcats. 15 to 10, five-point lead. And, you know, Bobcats are going to have to have some unsung heroes out here. Uh, you know, off the bench, Isaac with a big shot right there. Castle turns, thought about it. Couldn't get the shot up for Hoskins. Shot by Sloan is no good. Collins pulls down the rebound. Who'd you say got the rebound? Collins. He's getting everything. He is the rebounder. Mm. Spurry with it now. Front and center. Wanting to go to work. Wanting to go down the lane. Looking for an alley. Bumped by Castle. And great job by Sperry. Yeah. Selling that foul. He got into the defender. Uh, and uh, a defender got into him, and he threw his head back. You teach that yeah. as a coach. That's two fouls on Castle. He'll go out as McLarnus comes in and Ridge Beverly back into the game. That's uh, two big fouls on uh, Carter Castle. Cross court pass from Isaac Bellamy to Luke Bellamy back into the game now as Andrew Combs will get a breather. So the Bellamy Cousins back on the court. Spurry tries to split the defense. Ball comes loose and there's Isaac Bellamy to knock it loose on again. The floor. Get on. Tie up on the floor as Hoskins and Bellamy going after the ball. And <laughs> That's the whistle warning of, yeah. uh, of the technical. Yeah. I don't think he got it. But uh, uh, a kind of a very questionable call right there yeah. uh, if you're the Bobcat Nation. Both guys are on the floor battling. Should be a jump ball. Well, the foul call on Isaac Bellamy. He'll go to the bench. With two fouls now, a young man just hit a big three for the Cats. Here comes Ridge Beverly across midcourt with a thumbs up. Calls the offense. Gets it today. Now to McLarnus. Top of the key. McLarnus passes it off to Beverly. 
Beverly back over to Dylan Knight. He'll shoot that long ball off the backboard. Oh. No good. Here comes Sperry as the fans come to their feet. Collins with the feed from Sperry. That's a Sperry Collins connection. And we saw so evident Saturday. It's been there for most of the last half of this season anyway. These two really hooking up. Yeah, that's Sperry right. breaks the court, finds Christian near the goal, and Collins gets up for it. Score by the Commodores, puts them back within five with 2.30 to go before the half. That high flying connection has been working. Bellamy spots right. up for the long three, no good. Collins tips it for the rebound. Back inside to Combs, he'll kick it back out to Sperry, and Sperry calms things down, sets the offense, passes to Combs for three. Collins with another big rebound, spins, puts it up. The shot is called for the walk. Too many steps under the basket. Great rebound there by Collins. Uh, two rebounds, I should say. Uh, the last three has been his, uh, but he uh, he kind of got pushed a little bit, got off balance, maybe took an extra step. 2-10 to go before the half. Beverly goes to work for the Commodores as he crosses the logo at midcourt. Over around the right wing in front of the breath at bench. Wanted to take the three. He's wanting to take that jump shot, and he does. Off the back of the iron, no good. Collins tips it for another rebound. Well, Collins, I watched him that possession, just him, and he is really just timing his jumps perfect. Spurry in the lane, waits for the fake, goes up, can't get the shot, and he's caught for the wall. And we'll get a 30-second timeout from Coach Kyle Moore as he wants to talk things over with the Cats. We'll be back after this message. The new year is bringing exciting high school basketball action to courts across our region, and Rose Brothers is happy to help bring these games into your homes. Rose Brothers is your source for basketball and all athletic shoes and Under Armour and Nike athletic apparel to put your athletes in the game, or even help you keep those New Year's resolutions. With lots of winners still ahead, come see us for deals on fleece and outerwear too. When you have the chance, get out and support your local teams and the boys and girls of your local schools. And when you can't, Rose Brothers will be helping Bluegrass Sports Nation bring it to you. All right, folks, we are back. Thanks for tuning in to Bluegrass Sports Nation. We'd like to say special thanks to a new sponsor, Wilder and Mosley Law Firm. Injury attorneys here in Hazard, hometown attorneys serving the people of Eastern Kentucky. First Trust Bank, great people, great banking and financial services with locations in Hazard, London, and Richmond. Max Mitchell, president. Southern Woods Heating and Air for all your heating and cooling needs. YPK Motorsports for locations in Jackson, Hazard, and Paintsville. Beverly goes to work for the Commodores. Get to Smith. Balls knocked loose. Picks it back up. Gets it today. Out of Beverly. Over in front of the scorer's table. He's eyeing things out. Finds an alley. Goes down the lane. Spins. Kicks it back out to Knight. Knight will go in against Collins. Puts up the jump shot. Off the rim. No good. Tipped. Collins tries to save it. And it'll stay here as he is called for being out of bounds. Thanks again to our sponsors, 407 Supplies for your big construction supplies in Eastern Kentucky. Call JK at 568-5754. Beverly inbounds to Woods. Woods gets it to Day. Day now over to Landon Smith. Smith will shoot the three, but Collins gets into him, and Collins will be called for the foul on the three-point shot. Yeah, Collins got, got hung up on the screen, tried to fight over yeah. the top, uh, stuck his hand in there, just got a piece of the shooter. Uh, one of the things you never never try to foul that jump shooter. Two shots only. Two shots only. How many times have I done that tonight? That's all right. Kaiser Sloan, number yeah. four. I'm so he he looks so much like like Smith. Yeah, he does. Smith. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I'm sorry. And, I'm sorry. And they they. They may have used to play together. I don't know if they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah. My bad, Kaiser. He puts that second shot up. And that one's in for Kaiser Sloan. Spurry now across the half court mark. 17 to 13, four point lead. Bellamy to Spurry. Now back to Bellamy. Perry, a little, Perry. Game of, little game of pitch and catch, and ball knocked loose by Trayton Woods. Goes out of bounds. Good defense by Woods. Johnny on the spot. He knocks that one loose. And uh, 
proof to the Bobcats that uh, they're not going to be able to sit back and just pass it back and forth. Commodore's defense is going to eat that up. Yeah, you got to make yourself available, uh, pass it, and, uh, and, and want the ball back. Sperry out top of the key now, looking inside. Passes to Combs, now back to Sperry. Sperry spins on Woods. He goes down the lane, puts up the floater, no good. Ball is knocked loose. Hoskins comes up with it. Over in the corner, spots up for a three is Luke Bellamy, oh, and it's good. What a pass by Bryce Hoskins to find Bellamy in the corner. Bryce Hoskins, just like a guard, takes it in, makes a defense commit, kicks it out for the three. McGarnis now passes it off to Trayton Woods. He'll shoot the three off the backboard. No good. McGarnis goes up for the shot. It's no good. That'll, that'll bring us to the end of the first half. Tyler Day hurt. The Cats are up 20 to 13 over the Commodores. And we'll go to halftime with them. This commercial break, we'll be back. PDQ Sales and Services, formerly known as Jackson Wholesale Company, is a locally owned and operated convenience store and grocery store supplier with a full line of products. They have ice cream, groceries, meat, dairy, candy, and more. They even have janitorial supplies including tactical strike disinfectant. Tactical strike has been approved by the EPA to kill the virus that causes COVID-19. Give PDQ a call today at 606-666-2495. GoTime is a locally owned and operated convenience store that has all your wants and needs in one stop. We have everything from quick snacks and cold drinks, a full service deli, fresh coffee bar, soft serve ice cream and milkshakes. Also, make sure you try our Chester's Fried Chicken. GoTime, where the customer always comes first. Refuel your tank, refill your cup and refresh your taste buds all in one stop at GoTime. Wolf County is widely known as a rock climbing and hiking destination, but is now quickly becoming known for its great restaurants and entertainment venues. Venues like Skybridge Station, where you can see live music on the weekends or go to Tuesday night trivia. Kells Patriot Pizza, Spanx Franks, Dixie Freeze, The Finca, 145 Stakeout, which has live music most weekends, The Brick, Red Point Barbecue, and bites and bargains. Wolf County is naturally gorgeous, and Wolf County Tourism invites you to stop in and try one of these great restaurants on your next visit. Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply in Jackson, Kentucky is proud to serve Breathitt, Lee, Wolf, Morgan, Owsley, Perry, and Madison Counties. Established in 1982 with over 40 years of service to those communities, Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply can not only First half court shot of the night for Jaden Gibby Gibson. <laughs> He's been in the weight room way too much. Flexing the biceps, throws it over the backboard. And the Bobcat then strikes again right there with the, yeah. with the weight room right there. And a second young man coming up. I'm not sure if I know his name or recognize him from here. Everybody's got on face paint tonight, Sean. Yeah. Maybe yeah. that's why I didn't recognize Kaiser. Well, a second shot is up off the backboard, closer than Gibby's, but... No cigar on the $500 yeah, so you, far for the Cats. You know what, Rob? I, I've seen a, I've seen a few fans uh, all painted all blue. I didn't know a blue man group was here tonight with the drums or not. <laughs> well, <laughs> my apologies to Kaiser Sloan in the first half for getting him and his ex-teammate mixed up. Second uh, half court try, or, or first half court try for the Perry Central fans. That one was no good as it sailed off to the right under the backboard. And after having five made half court shots, we haven't drawn iron yet. Yeah, this they, they've given away two thousand dollars, I think. Uh -oh. this that uh -oh. one had a chance, yeah. but it's no good. We always want to give you some uh, halftime entertainment here, folks. As uh, we'll go back to commercial break and let Ty back pay some bills here. We'll be back after this message. Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply in Jackson, Kentucky, is proud to serve Breathitt, Lee, Wolf. Morgan, Owsley, Perry, and Madison Counties. Established in 1982 with over 40 years of service to those communities, Jackson Electric and Plumbing Supply can not only meet your electric and plumbing needs, but also heating and cooling. 
concrete and metal septic tanks, as well as your special orders. Call Scott and the gang today at 606-666-4052. And hometown pharmacies have been serving Breathitt County for over 20 years and are proud to support our local athletes. They are hometown owned and operated by Portia and Everett Dunaway. Portia and Everett want you to know that family and hometown pharmacies are here for you. Give them a call today at 606 666 5519 or 606 666 5500. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. We strive to use our knowledge, talents, and resources to improve the quality of life in our communities. This year, People's Bank is celebrating our 120th anniversary by delivering 120 acts of kindness. These acts of kindness bring us just as much joy as to those that receive them. People's Bank, working together, building success. I was born and raised in Leslie County, and now I live and maintain my law practice in Hazard. I came back home to the mountains to fight for mountain people. At Wilder and Mosley Injury Law, we love our communities and the people that live in them. We want you to know that you have two attorneys fighting for you as hard as they possibly can that grew up in the communities and work in the communities that you're from. If you've been injured in a car wreck, a slip and fall, or by an act of negligence, call us at Wilder and Mosley Injury Law. We are East Kentucky's trial team. Sticky notes are part of our daily lives, and people have found some pretty creative uses for them. As Kentucky's insurance company, we appreciate the resourcefulness and the fact that billions of sticky notes are made each year right here in the Commonwealth. And we think that's something Kentuckians find pretty noteworthy. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance, big on commitment. Lakeside Homes, located in Jackson, Kentucky, has been serving Breathitt and surrounding counties for over 27 years. They have new manufactured homes from Norris, Clayton, and Fleetwood. Single wides, double wides, and also an assortment of quality used homes. Many financing options available, offering site prep, delivery, and setup for a no hassle experience. To find your new home, visit them at 42 Jets Drive in Jackson or on the web at www.lakesidehomesjackson.com or call 606 666 7558. Since 1962, Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson has been proud to serve the community. They care about the people of Breathitt County and are the only locally owned bank in the community. With two branches in Jackson and one in Beattyville, they're never too far away when you need them. And with the latest innovations in banking, keeping track of your finances has never been easier. Helping to grow Breathitt County as leaders for over 60 years. That's Citizens Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. All right, folks, we are back. Thanks again to all of our sponsors. I've got one last one here I want to get in. Special thanks to Bluegrass Hospice Care and the Bluegrass Care Navigators. Bluegrass Hospice Care, bringing comfort and dignity when a loved one is facing a serious illness. Get the comfort that comes with expert care. Visit them at bgcarenav.org to find out more. And I'll tell you what, Sean Noble, I, you had uh, some busy fingers over there trying to keep stats up and down the court with these two clubs in the first half. I'll let you talk about some of the stats, and uh, we'll... We'll talk about some more of the action here after you get done. Tell us about the point leaders here for both these ball clubs. All right, down the, down the line, first for uh, uh, Perry Central Commodores, we have uh, uh, Trayton Woods with two, Kaiser Sloan with three, Tyler Day uh, three, and Dylan Knight uh, has, has five. Um, and uh, these uh, um, Breath County Bobcats, Luke Bellamy has two threes for six points, Austin Sperry, has five, Christian Collins two, Andrew Combs two, Bryce Hoskins two, and Isaac Bellamy with a big three. And that runs down the, the scoring right there. They, uh, uh, the Bobcats are back out warming up right now. Uh, I think Perry Central's getting a, getting some, maybe some uh, uh, 
paint peeled off the wall a little bit, you know, going, <laughs> in, going into the halftime with uh, just a seven-point deficit, though. But it, uh, in a game like this, that's a, that's a big lead because, you know, uh, it's a lowest-scoring affair so far. And, uh, you know, it looks like the team that stays mentally tough and on the grind here uh, and uh, is it, going to win this game. I would be hard-pressed if I left out this young man's name, but I believe the second gentleman to shoot that half-court shot it was John Thomas Price as uh, he walked over to our left there a minute ago. I believe that was him. Yeah, that, that was John Thomas, wasn't it? I yeah. believe it was. I couldn't tell with the uh, face paint and the hat on, but I believe that's who it was. Yeah. But we've had a, a pretty balanced attack, as you talked about, from the Bobcats offensively, and, and we just made mention about the Cats coming back out of the locker room really quick. They came back out of the locker room, and they got set up, and they went to work, and they got some warm-ups, and uh, like you said, the well, Commodores may be in the locker room getting the paint peeled off right now. We're yeah. also interested to see. Maybe they've gone home. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe, we're, maybe they're looking for Landon Smith. Right, right. They, yeah, oh, yeah. They may. <laughs> yeah. They may uh, we're, we're also interested to see how Tyler Day <laughs> enters the court. Young man went down right at the end of uh, the uh, first half on the last possession, if you will, right under the basket. Right. Uh, he, he was helped off the court. Maybe up a little bit. His ankle maybe. Uh, maybe so. He, he was helped off the court, but we'll see how he comes back out after halftime. Maybe it's just a minor injury, but we'll see uh, about that. The uh, starting five for the Cats out on the court. Referees out on the court. And there is the buzzer. That's and the Commodores are uh, coming onto the court. Tyler Day with a little bit of a limp, but he's in the first four or five to come out, so I think he'll be all right. Maybe getting some extra treatment in there. Probably got it taped up. Uh, get him, hopefully he's ready to go the second half. Kaiser Sloan, Dylan Knight, Trayton Woods, Tyler Day, and Ridge Beverly, the starting five back on the court for the Commodores. And of course, the starting five back out for the Cats as Sperry is set to inbound the ball for the Cats. And we'll take off with the second half action of the 14th Region Championship. Sperry over to Combs. Combs looking inside, goes back out to Sperry. Coach Kyle Moore up on the bench calling the shots. Sperry looking for an alley to go down the lane. Sloan backs off of him. Day picks up, pass over to Andrew Combs. Yes, sir. Every day. Combs says, give me it. That pass again, and I'll knock it down. Gets another three. Don't look now. Cats up by 10, 23-13, 7-29. Left here in the third. Knight working on Hoskins. He steps back behind the free throw line. Hits a nice little jump shot for Dylan Knight. Dylan Knight, uh, how's that? Bank shot open. The bank's open tonight. Spurry, cross midcourt. Over in front of the scorer's table now, looking inside. He'll pass cross court to uh, Bellamy. Bellamy to Collins. And Hoskins and Hoskins is fouled by Kaiser Sloan under the basket. And, and Hoskins tonight has uh, has showed up. He's made a, uh, some great assists here. He's got some good rebounds. Uh, also, he's given a post presence for the for the Bobcats talking on defense. Well, Kaiser with some great defense on on Hoskins uh, as you see it right there, still right on him as he takes that ball away. But they're going to call him for the foul. Uh, it looked like Kaiser may have got all ball, but and he's kind of frustrated with the call, too. Well, but he picked up two quick fouls, and Hoskins will go to the line to shoot the free throws. Yeah, and, uh, and that's a set play by the Bobcats. Uh, Bryce picked down. Uh, they, he got it on the switch, and, and Bryce slips the pick and gets open. I think Kaiser's probably a little more frustrated with himself than he was the call. The smile on his face over on the low block right now. He... You know, for, to pick up two fouls like that mentally can be challenging for any player. Hoskins steps back to the line, 23-15, puts up the second free throw off the front of the iron, no good. Knight with a rebound, gets it to Ridge Beverly. The Commodores go to work quickly here on this possession. Beverly kind of loses the handle, but able to gather it back up. Luke Bellamy right there, just waiting on a loose ball. Gets by the pick from Sloan. Now Sloan with it. He's going to drive in the lane against Collins, and he thought he would be called for the walk, but they're going to call a foul. I yeah. thought I saw a walk too. But. He, he kind of he kind of shuffled his feet, did the uh, you know the stride stop, you know took a took an extra step, but uh, the referee obviously watching up top and missed that call. That was a, that was a long euro step. It was. <laughs> he, he he got the he got the Asia on that one. Sloan draws iron off the front of the rim with the first free throw. 6:45 now, 23:15. 
Pats with an eight-point lean. Slowden and tries you know, to cut into it and cut it to seven. You know what we haven't seen is that Perry Central press. If he hits his free throw, let's see if they get in it. Oh, off the front of the line. Oh, no good. Though, yeah. so Sloan can't draw a point from the free throw line, and Sperry will go to work for the Cats. Top of the key over to Bellamy. Luke in front of the breath at bench tries to take Woods off the dribble. Sperry thought about the three, looks inside. They got Hoskins two fouls on, uh, on Kaiser. Sloan would go inside with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you want to look at that. Sperry will turn, go up with a one-handed floater. The man doesn't need a backboard. Put him in the spin cycle right there with a nice spin and, and uh, finishes the jumper. 25-15, cats up 10, Bellamy. All over Ridge Beverly here on the right wing. Big possession right here for Perry Central, down by 10. And they need a bucket. Beverly looking for an alley. Switch goes inside. The foul will be on Luke Bellamy as Beverly went to the hoop. Hoskins went with his man. Bellamy stayed with him. And as he went up for the basket, Bellamy will be called for the foul. Ridge Beverly, one of the great point guards here in this region, stepped to the line for his free throws earlier tonight. If I'm correct, I believe Ridge missed both tries. So this is his third attempt, and he's good on that one. Big sigh of relief for the young man as he steps up and makes that one. Yeah, right. He's like, I've been, uh, I've been working on this free throw. Yeah. It needs to go down. Ridge steps to the line for the second shot. Bends the knees, good arch. Nothing but net for Ridge Beverly as he makes both of them. And I alluded to his percentage earlier in the game that yeah. he's 59, maybe foul him. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't foul Ridge Beverly. He's a tough-minded kid. He'd probably go in there and knock them both down. Cross-court pass to Combs via Bellamy. Combs. Trapped over to the get out of there. And we got a foul called. Oh, we a have timeout. A, no, we, we have a, a yeah, we have a timeout called. Got a timeout called. I thought maybe we had a foul coming. Uh, yeah, we got a, a good timeout right We got there. a 30 second timeout. We'll take it with them here on Bluegrass Sports Nation. We'll be right back. Trade it and upgrade it now at Appalachian Wireless and receive up to $700 off when you trade your old eligible device in and upgrade to a new iPhone 14 Pro Max or Samsung S23 Ultra on a qualifying Appalachian Advantage plan. What better way to start the year off right than with upgrading to a new 5G compatible device on the region's best network while saving up to $700 off on the hottest smartphones. Appalachian Wireless giving you another reason to come join the Big Blue Network. Why? Because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Yeah, like wireless for full terms and conditions. Special thanks to the uh, PCC administration and all the folks here in Perry County for the great hospitality yes, room. Yes. Taking care of the refs and the coaches <laughs> and, the, and us media guys. And uh, uh, special thanks to them. Well, that's a good thing. Well, you got to watch right here. Uh, Perry Central went to their uh, half court, 2-2-1. Two, two, um, you got to get somebody in the middle, uh, get it to the gut of the defense, and uh, get that thing broken up. Spurry looking to inbound. Long pass. Back to Luke Bellamy on the other side of the half-court mark. And they're back in it. They get across court. At the bounce, big man. Bounce pass to Sperry now over in the corner to Combs. Back out to Bellamy. All about the long three. Slows things down, gets it back to Sperry. Sperry will drive, kicks it back out to Bellamy. Bellamy thought about the three again, faked it, backs back out, gives to Sperry. And you get some dribble penetration or ball, get that baseline open. Combs will shoot the three from the outside in the corner, no good. Combs gets the rebound that was knocked loose. Goes back up off the backboard and good for Andrew Combs. And a big ball fake right there. Andrew Combs uh, comes up with the loose uh, rebound and uh, fakes it, gets it off the glass for a bucket. Well, that time Andrew would not be denied. I told you earlier, he was playing with passion. A lot of emotion, that young man. So he won't take no for an answer on that position. He truly Commodores. is. He's done a great job on Woods tonight, too. Yes, he has. Commodores go to work. You see the rotation on the offense. Beverly back out top of the key now with it. Gets a... A pick from Knight. He goes around it. Bellamy picks him up. Sloan from the top of the key. Three-pointer no good. Sperry there with a rebound. And the foul will be called on Trayton Woods, number 11. That's his first as Sperry was going after the rebound. And uh, the, the two-part of the dynamic duo, Collins and Sperry. Sperry this time skies for the rebound. Tell you what, it's been fun to watch these two. This whole team, very fun to watch. Sperry gets the pass in the lane, off the backboard, doesn't get the shot, but he draws the foul. Man, watch him pick up speed. Man, that, that's, a, that's what you need. You need, you need the, the penetration by, by, the ball, by the dribble or the pass uh, to beat this press, but now it's downhill off, off from uh, Austin Sperry. He's getting to the rim. Yep. 424 to go here in the half. Cats up by 10. Sperry to the line. 
money from the free throw on the first one. I love the way. 17. I love the way this young man is playing. A lot of confidence, a lot of swagger, uh, going to the line and making his free throws too. Spurry shoots the second one. It's up. Nothing but net on the second one. Got to have those free throws in this second half, especially. They will be big. Yes, sir, Rob. For the victor in this game. Beverly across midcourt. He's working against Luke Bellamy. Beverly will stop, shoot the three. It looks good. It's off the rim. Collins with another rebound. Collins is like a vacuum cleaner on the backboard. <laughs> he times it so good. Well, even when it comes off low, he's there to clean it up. we got a foul on Ridge Beverly as Luke Bellamy tries to cut across the court. Beverly with the reach in. And uh, these uh, Perry Central Commodores look a little out of sorts right now. Uh, they're kind of looking over at their coach, what defense they're going to go back straight man-to-man -man here. 29-17, 4-0-3 to go here in the third. And I think a good call because Brett had, had that figured out. Yeah. Spurry. Call on the play, passes over to Collins, who's out on the corner. He'll pass down low. Watch his third pass. Hoskins. Hoskins works it, taken away by Knight. Collins picks it up off the court, and it's going to be tied up jump ball. Possession arrow says the Commodores, and uh, Kaiser Sloan in on that one, Dylan Knight in on that one, uh, able to tie it up. Collins on the floor. Uh, yep. uh, you know, great hustle, both teams. Uh, but you, you know what Breath is doing. They're trying to uh, draw the, the third foul onto uh, Kaiser Sloan uh, with the post up of Bryce Hawkins. Uh, he was able to knock it away that time, though. Kaiser and Coach Roy out on the court cleaning up some moisture as Carter Cassie comes back into the game. <laughs> and uh, Tyler, Tyler Day, I believe, went out for the Commodores as Castle comes in. Yes. Yeah, I see him now. Beverly, the pass to Castle at the free throw line. He'll drive in against Hoskins, puts the shoulder down. Ball comes loose. Hoskins comes up with it. Bounce pass to Sperry. Bryce Hoskins sets up the wall. It looked like a wall right there. Yeah. <laughs> Sperry in the lane, dumps it to Collins. Oh, on the reverse, off the backboard. And a fist put by Christian Collins. Yeah. And a timeout. Drop the dime, young man. That's a full timeout, one minute. We'll be back here on Bluegrass Sports Nation. Go Time is a locally owned and operated convenience store that has all your wants and needs in one stop. We have everything from quick snacks and cold drinks, a full service deli, fresh coffee bar, soft serve ice cream and milkshakes. Also, make sure you try our Chester's Fried Chicken. Go Time, where the customer always comes first. Refuel your tank, refill your cup, and refresh your taste buds all in one stop at Go Time. This is a story about purpose. This is a story about progress, about building on our past accomplishments and investing in innovation. All of this combined with our industry leading insurance, competitive pay rates and flexible scheduling is the reason why now is the time to join our team. This is our story. Let it be your story. Hi, yeah. right, folks, we're back. We're getting in on the cheering yeah. section here in front of us. Cats fans up loud and proud. 31-17. As they come to their feet. Bobcats are in the house right now tonight here at Perry Central. Woods to inbound it. Third quarter is a very important quarter. And Luke Bellamy just hounded. Beverly drives in, puts up the little floater off the rim, no good. Sloan with a big rebound and a putback for Kaiser Sloan. That's a big shot by Kaiser Sloan. His team was pretty much dead right there offensively. Uh, last few possessions, uh, they needed that bucket. The pressure defense for the Commodores will pick up on the made basket by Sloan. Sperry able to break it, looking in the lane. Passes taken away by Carter Castle. Passes up to Sloan. Sloan dribble, bounce pass, picked off by Andrew Combs. Combs now tied up, gets it to Hoskins. Bellamy gets it. Coach oh. Home or Coach, <laughs> Coach Moore calling for him to, to slow things down over on the on the bench over there. Yeah, settle down, make a good strong pass, uh, set up your play, run your stuff. Holmes over in the corner, got it to Sperry. Sperry out at front of the scorer's table now over to Bellamy. Bellamy working against Trayton Woods. He'll back it back out. The Cats, with the opportunity to take their time right now, be very methodical with this offense and burn some clock. 2-14. And, 
Coach calling for the high screen. No call. No call. Sperry goes in the lane, puts up the shot, no good, but we finally get a whistle. I thought Dylan Knight that time really put a hard check on Sperry as Sperry came off that pick. He did. They're so conscious of the, of the high screen and roll, especially uh, after the results of the hazard game, Perry, uh, Sperry getting to the hole uh, at will. 2-11 on the clock here in the third. Austin Sperry continues his streak at the free throw line as he hits that one. Thanks again to our sponsors, Jackson Physical Therapy and Colby Watts. They'll get you back into the action. The law office of Daryl Harold, with over 30 years of taking care of the legal needs of Jackson, Breathitt, and Wolf Counties. People's Bank of Jackson working together to build success. People's is ready to help you reach your dreams. Second shot. Osperi is in, and a smile comes across his face. He's, laid, he's playing relaxed. He's, uh, he's being smooth going to the hole. Uh, nothing but net on those free throws. Beverly gets the pick from Castle and goes to the basket. The layup is good. Pressure defense comes up a notch now from Perry. Bobcats able to break it. Spurry across midcourt. He'll go down the lane. One man under him, and that's Castle. Collins with the rebound and the putback and a high five from Spurry. He said, I got you, brother. Let me go ahead and put this in for you. Beverly again working around the pick from that. Over to Day. Day has been quiet here in the second half. Haven't heard much from him. He dribbles around, passes back to Ridge Beverly. Beverly around the screen from Castle. He'll go in under the basket. Waits, goes up and gets it to fall. And Ridge Beverly is the bright spot for the Perry Central Commodores offensively. Bellamy trying to get past Trayton Woods and break the press. Gets it up to Collins. Collins looking inside to Hoskins. Hoskins spins over in the corner to Combs. Combs will drive the lane, kicks it back to Collins. Out of Spurry. Out of Luke Bellamy. Bellamy will drive. Goes up off the backboard. No good. <laughs> yeah. We got a foul. And that'll go against Castle, I believe. And as, yep. a, co as a coach, when one of your guys go down, you run over and help them up. Yeah. Uh, Combs said, I'm going to come over there and help you up. And uh, that's great teammates right there. 107 to go here in the third. Bellamy steps up. Buries the free throw. 36-23, 13-point lead for the Cats. Bellamy will step to the line for the second, puts the shot up, and it's good. Cool and Luke cleans the strings on that one, and Castle will inbound it for the Commodores. Beverly across the half-court stripe, goes to work off the screen from Castle, around to the right side. He's trying to get an alley into the lane. He finds Knight inside. Knight pushes back, working against Collins. Can't get anything, but he finds Day in the open for three. Ball tip. Castle comes up with it, puts up the floater. It's good. Basket is in, and Carter draws the foul as he goes to the hoop, and Castle will have his chance at a three-point play. Castle, a nice offensive rebound, attacks the defense. Uh, uh, not a hard foul, but enough to call it, and they uh, – He's going to the line for one more. A good move by Carter Castle, and, and any time you can find yourself going in the lane like that and you've got a couple defenders on you, you got to put the ball up because there's a pretty good chance you're going to yes. get a foul call. Yes, Rob, and you got good things happen when you take it to the basket. Smart move by Carter Castle. Isaac Bellamy back into the game now as his cousin Luke will take a seat. So uh, Sperry, Hoskins, Collins, Isaac Bellamy and Andrew Combs on the court for the Cats. Castle's free throw is good. Beautiful shot by Carter Castle. Isaac Bellamy with it now for the Cats. Nobody on him. He gets it to Hoskins. Hoskins going to bring there it over to the midcourt. Looking, looking, looking. He finds Spurry. Spurry across midcourt. Going to go in the lane. Up high. Shot's no good, but he draws the foul. And Sperry will go back to the free throw and, line. And, you know, I just you feel like a broken record saying this, but, I mean, Austin Sperry, when, when he goes back, you cannot wait to set up that charge. No. If you wait, he's going to contort he, his body yeah. and step around yeah. you and uh, just jump over you and make it. You've got to slide over and, and get him early in transition. 36 seconds in the third. Sperry's free throw rattles in. going to make it. 38, 26, 12 point lead for the Cats. Spurry tries to extend it to 13 with this last free throw. And it's good. Yeah. Rob, if he gets below the foul line in dribble penetration, it's a. Uh, it's so composed right now. 
so he composed. Stepped to the free throw line. He's made his shots. He's Six. talking and communicating with his teammates. Six in a row with this, this, uh, this quarter. Great job by this young man, Isaac Bellamy, out in front on Ridge Beverly. Beverly trying to work past the screen of Kaiser Top Sloan. Shot. Yep. Collins out on Sloan. Beverly trying to get past Isaac Bellamy. A great matchup here, tag team, if you will. He's going to Sloan and Beverly against Collins and Bellamy. They're going to double team him over in the corner. He steps back, going to shoot a long three. Uh, shot. Shot's up, no good, and that'll bring us to the end of the third quarter. Bobcats up 13, 39, 26 over the doors. We'll be back. The new year is bringing exciting high school basketball action to courts across our region, and Rose Brothers is happy to help bring these games into your homes. Rose Brothers is your source for basketball and all athletic shoes and Under Armour and Nike athletic apparel to put your athletes in the game, or even help you keep those New Year's resolutions. With lots of winners still ahead, come see us for deals on fleece and outerwear too. When you have the chance, get out and support your local teams and the boys and girls of your local schools. And when you can't, Rose Brothers will be helping Bluegrass Sports Nation bring it to you. Variety Pizza, family owned and operated, serving the community with homemade and handcrafted pizzas, sandwiches, salads, and more for over 45 years. Located at 1189 Main Street, Jackson, Kentucky. Available for dine-in and carry-out with private party spaces available. Stop by and visit us or call 606-666-5454. Folks, we got eight more minutes on the clock here from the John C. Combs Arena, the home of Prairie Central Commodores. Bobcat Mason on their feet. And the Bobcat team on the court. All the starters on the court except for Isaac Bellamy. Luke getting a breather right now. Eight more minutes to Man. determine the 14th region championship. And these Bobcats come out of that huddle uh, talking to each other. Uh, getting each other fired up. They're ready for the sport. I got a drink of water in and I'm ready for the last 750. Combs inside to Hoskins. Over to Collins. Now to Combs. Out top of the key to Sperry. Sperry. Ball knocked away. It'll go out of bounds. And they're going to call it off Austin Sperry. I thought it was clearly poked away by a Commodore and so did Austin Sperry, but that's not how the referee seen it. Yeah, rough vantage point is a little farther out here, but uh, it did not appear to be that. Beverly to Sloan tonight, now today. He finds Trayton Woods. That young man will shoot it, and it's good. Big three-pointer by Trayton Woods, and the Commodores pull within 10. 7.22 to go in regulation. And a set play coming out of that quarter to Defense get their shooter. Picks it up. Pass over to Isaac Bellamy. Isaac drives through traffic. Little scoop layup, no good. Gets his own rebound. Throws it back out to Austin Sperry. Sperry over in the corner to Collins. Collins cross court to Combs in the corner to Isaac. Isaac fakes inside, dribble penetration. Oh, Hoskins drops it, gives it to Collins. And Collins. To the basket and the foul. I want to play. Hoskins unselfish, gives it up to Collins. Collins with a basket, goes to the line. Every Bobcat touched the ball on that possession. Good ball movement by the Bethany County Bobcats. Chance at the three-point play, the young man nails it. They got, they got them spread out in a 2-1-2, two, uh, two, two, and they're just uh, moving it, moving it, and uh, getting layups. Very important possession for the Commodores right here, 6.50 on the clock. Sloan, tonight, today, over to Sloan. Collins all over him. It's a pick from Knight. Sloan will shoot the three. Off the backboard, no good. Rebound, going to be handled by Isaac Bellamy. And Ridge Beverly will be called for the foul. And uh, Ridge got off balance yeah. by the ball face what? of Isaac Bellamy. And uh, Isaac Bellamy just being really tough with the basketball. There wasn't much that Ridge could do. There were so many players going after yeah. the ball. And Isaac got his hands on it. And Beverly going after the ball uh, creates the foul, really. Uh, getting into Isaac. And, and Isaac it, will go to the free throw and line. And his cousin was going to come in for him. He said, well, let me make these free throws first. <laughs> great hustle, great intensity uh, by these cats here in the last uh, quarter so far. 
They really during the whole game, but they seem to have turned it up a notch defensively. 42-29, 6.37 to go. Isaac Bellamy at the line. Now, Rob, if he misses this, he didn't want to come out of the game. No. Shot is up, and it's good. And Isaac will take a quick seat and let Cousin Luke come in the game. He's a cousin, but, but you just like my brother and go on in there and uh, handle business. Beverly with a wide load of the point deficit on his shoulders. Young man able to make a lot happen for the Commodores. Let's see how they get him involved. Knight looking for Woods underneath. He passes it to Beverly. Beverly looks in the lane. He's wanting to shoot that jump shot. He'll pull it back out to Sloan. Sloan inside the Knight. Knight will work under the basket. Up and under reverse is good for Dylan Knight. Personal defense up for the Commodores. One of the best moves by Dylan Knight all night there with the nice reverse. Long pass to Combs. He'll go in the lane. Little double pump from Andrew Combs. And off the backboard is good. Six minutes on the clock. Cats up 45 to 31. Long ball. No good for the Commodores. Spray comes out of there with it. Uh oh He's going to go to the hole up off the backboard. No good. But he draws the foul. And Austin Spray will go back to the free throw line. Like I told you, you can't set up for that charge late like that. You've yeah. got to pick you gotta him up and there. transition. Yeah. You've got to make him change directions, go east-west instead of north-south. Well, first off, you got to go to the post office and set yeah. it up as your address. <laughs> yeah. Set yeah. your feet. Set your feet and get there, you know. Be there. Yeah. They. Uh, uh, you set up too early, he's going around you. 5.50 on the clock, Coach. What do you do, Coach Shannon Hoskins? you got to eat into this league. Well, your team is frustrated right now. Uh, if I'm Coach Hoskins, I think about burning the time out here. Exactly. Uh, even, you know, uh, late in the game here, you've got a few. Can't go home with them. Settle your team down and uh, know, know it uh, one, one point at a time. Sturry makes one of two. I think he missed the first one, right? Yes, yep. sir. Yes, sir. Sloan inbounds it. But to Beverly. Andrew Combs, a possession to go with a little mustard on the hot dog Man. right there. Little double pump. Yeah. 540 on the clock in regulation. Beverly passes to Sloan inside the night. Knight goes to work. Spins on Hoskins, goes up. Barely draws iron. Spurry with a rebound down the court quickly. Three on one. Spurry dishes to Collins. And we got an offensive foul on Austin Spurry. And then, like we said before, you know, he didn't wait that time. He he slid over and took the charge, yes. Rob, like you were saying. Yeah. Uh, you can't, you got to, uh, too early, he's around you. And a uh, nice play by. Well, all that does is fuel the fire at this point, 525. Right. Uh, we got a whistle. Uh, wet spot on the floor. Oh, I got you. A little moisture on the court. Ross Hoskins and Mr. Referee going to dry it up, check it out. And Go back to work. If Coach Hoskins could get maybe a, a, a four-point run <laughs> yeah. going here, uh, uh, maybe, you know, call timeout and kind of get this uh, momentum swing. Well, he's got to get it manageable first, and they've only got about 520 to do that night. With it now, passes to Sloan. Over to Beverly. Beverly works off the screen. He'll put up the three. Got a good look, and it's in for Ridge Beverly. Good shot by Ridge. Long ball up the court. Collins able to handle it. Knight all over him, pass cross court to Sperry. Sperry with Trayton Woods in his hip pocket. He'll pass it over to Luke Bellamy. Nice find there by Christian Collins. Bellamy works around. Ridge Beverly comes back out top of the key, dishes to Combs. Combs, all about the three, brings it back out. Bobcats, solid the clock. Very solid with the basketball right now. That time got tripped up. Bellamy was tripped, tried to make the pass. Intended for Collins goes out of bounds. Turnover cats. Yeah. Coach and Moore. Coach Moore thought he got a piece of him. Uh, I thought he did too. Yeah. You can't uh you gotta play through it though. If yeah. the call's not there, you just gotta keep playing. You gotta make something happen on this end and get a defensive stop. Beverly tonight. Knight will get it to Sloan. Sloan bounces it off his foot, but I think they're gonna call Collins for the foul. And they will. And Collins just uh, a little off balance on the closeout. A little bump. A little bump right there. And uh, good job by, by Sloan to sell it. What you're seeing is, uh, you know, brother, it's kind of spreading the floor the last few possessions. And it's a smart play. But but don't pass up open shots. I thought Andrew Combs had a had a three over here and uh, uh, kind of passed that one up. But, uh, you know, you got a good lead here. Uh, you don't want to take the air out of it too early. Yeah. Producer tie back, making sure we know three fouls on Christian Collins. Here late in the fourth, 429 on the clock, 46 to 34. 
The Cats trying to fend off a comeback from the Commodores. And the only two uh, that, that really have been attacking is uh, Knight and Beverly. Sloan inbound to Beverly. Sloan with it now. Goes in the lane off the backboard. Can't get the shot to fall. That's, uh, but he'll draw the foul, and that'll be four on Collins. Yeah, that, and that's big right there because, you know, uh, Collins have a, has a drawn assignment against uh, their, their leading scorer, and um, looks like we're going to have uh, Caden Turner coming off the bench. Well, Collins will take a seat with four fouls here late in the fourth. And Caden Turner will come in for Christian Collins. First minute that Caden, minutes that Caden has had here tonight. Fine athlete, great young man, does a fine job when he gets on the court. Kaiser Sloan, the man of attention right now at the free throw line as he makes that one. Turner comes in, takes his post on the low block. Kaiser Sloan toes the line for the second shot now. Sloan bend in the knees, arcs in the shot, off the front of the iron, no good. Sperry. Breaks the press, gets it to Bellamy. Cross midcourt, spins. Pass over to Combs. Back to Bellamy now. Bellamy. Damn. Dribbles around, passes to Combs. Now back to Bellamy. Cross court to Turner. Turner inside to Hoskins, now to Bellamy. Playing, yeah, use the middle. Playing a little keep away right now. Make yourself available. That's yeah, time to work, and there's a foul by Woods as he bumps Sperry. And, and the next foul, we, are we in the bonus? Uh, we got, yeah. yeah. Double. Double bonus right here, so. So Sperry at the line, that foul on Trayton Woods, that's three on him. Sperry will go to the line to shoot the foul shots. First one is good. Thanks again to Hutch Automotive and Tire Works, your home in Jackson for CarQuest Auto Parts. Variety Pizza, your home for the best pizza in Jackson, along with her famous Hoagies, Family Pharmacy and Hometown Pharmacy. Always reminding you that they've got your safety at heart and proud supporters of the Bobcats. Sperry's free throw, no good. Cleaned out of there by Kaiser Sloan. Sloan will go in, put up the one-handed jump shot, no good. Hoskins with a big rebound. And Combs will be fouled by Tyler Day. And Perry Central kind of sensing, um, you know, the writing on the wall a little bit here. They're only down by 12 points. The uh, clock is not their friend. But it's not their yeah. friend, though. It's, it's, it's definitely not. So uh, they're taking the uh, chance that um, Brethren is not going to make free throws. If you're looking for a new home, be sure to stop by Lakeside Homes, where you stop for the best selection and you'll always get a great deal. The fans cheer as Combs hits the first one. Andrew Cool is the other side of the pillow on that one. You said it. Tell you what, he has been pivotal, pivotal for these cats here tonight. As he hits the second one. Very nice. Playing with a lot of emotion tonight, and I'll tell you what, defensively, I don't know if we get much better than Andrew tonight. He's, right. he's been all over these Commodores. I don't know if you get much better than the Breathitt team defense tonight anywhere. 35 points, 37 as that happens. Sloan got it to Castle. Castle able to go up and put it in off the backboard. And the Cats trying to break the press. Bellamy got it to get across midcourt. And that's a 10 second clock violation. That 10 snuck up on me. It did me too. Uh, I, I think it snuck up on uh, Luke. Luke didn't think there was, thought he had more time than he did. And the uh, turnover, Cats and uh, Commodores will take advantage of it. Let's see if they can be opportunistic here and get some points out of it. It's Beverly with it. It's, he's got to get some defense on him. He dishes it off to Castle. Castle up and under, no good. Tipped into the hands of Hoskins. Sperry will run. Come down the court, put the brakes on, and then shift gears and go to the basket. Shot is up. It's no good, but he draws the foul again. And that, my friends, is how Austin Sperry has made a living tonight. Yes. The, uh, the past couple games, uh, he has just made a living driving to the basket. 2.56 on the clock, 49-37, 12-point lead. Nice, he nice hesitation dribble. Austin looking to extend it now. Freezes the defense. Possibly to the biggest lead. Is 14 the biggest lead they've had, I think? Yeah, 14 or 15. Spurry with the chance. And he makes it 51 to 37. 256 now. And uh, all this, you know, uh, uh, Collins had had, uh, had to go to the bench here yep. with the foul trouble. Beverly with a wrong three. But we get a foul called on the three-point shot. 
Well, we've we've had that a couple of times here. I don't know if the the foul Collins was that a three pointer when he fouled. No, but uh, you did. It was a two. Yeah. Okay. You don't you don't foul the jump shooter. Uh, Luke was like not much. I don't not much there. But uh, you got to stay away from him. So Beverly with an opportunity to go to the line and make three free throws. He hits his first. And you talked about that. A very heads up player. He knows his basketball. Right. High IQ when it comes to the court. And no doubt, very intelligent individual, Rich Beverly, able to put things in the background out of his mind. Step to the line, he hits the second one. He's got one more, and he can have a three-point play. Rich Beverly has had to battle through adversity uh, all season with injuries. Uh, also, uh, you know, some, some other things that he's dealt with, and uh, he's just got a heart of a champion. Well, he's come back from an injury, and I tell you what, he's, he looks better than ever now. Third shot is up, gets the shooter's roll. The three-point play complete for Ridge Beverly as he's in his foul. Sperry trying to get it across the court, and he does to Combs. And Combs will be fouled. I think Castle will be the one that will pick that one up. And uh, the coaching staff for Perry Central don't like the call, but uh, we've, got a, we've got Andrew Combs at the line and, uh, and big Christian Collins. The, the highlight reel is coming back in. <laughs> yeah. Collins set to come back in. So Castle has fouled out of the game. He'll go to the bench. Kaiser Sloan, Trayton Woods, Dylan Knight, Tyler Day, and Ridge Beverly on the court for the Commodores. Combs at the line, shoots the free throw, no good. And I'm surprised that uh, Coach, back. Coach Hoskins didn't take his full uh, allotment of time to, am, to, yeah. to sub there, yeah. especially with Combs going to the line. He could and have. Austin. Austin. Combs bends the knees, puts up the shot, and it's off the mark, misses the second one. Tyler Day will bring it up for the Commodores. Looking to get past Perry. Step back three for Day. Off the front of the rim, no good. Ball knocked, tips, Perry. Look at Open him. on the run out. Who goes That's to the basket? That's intentional. Spurry goes up. And the ref has the hands crossed. It's going to be yeah. two shots and the basketball for the Bobcats. Frustration. Is avail right now for the Commodores, the intentional foul called on Dylan Knight, and that is his fourth. Spurry will go to the line to shoot the free throws. And, uh, you know, Knight, with the, with the right thing to do, you want to foul, but you do not want to grab yeah. or come down well, viciously yeah. or pull down. He went all the way into the, uh, the stands underneath the basket. Spurry's first shot is good. He takes a deep breath. Steps back, looks at the bench. Takes the ball in his hand for the second shot. It's up. And it's good. There you go, young man. Nice, and he's going to get two more on the shot. Spurry is pressing it, and so is the referees. Have we got two more, or, or just the ball back? It occurred simultaneously, yeah. so they're only going to give him the intentional and, foul. And Sperry with, yeah. a, with a very uh, evident question. And that's the right call. Uh, the, 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 the ref is talking to the Bobcat Nation yeah. fans over here. Like, I know what I'm doing, so yeah. uh, let's settle down and uh, let's play the game. 53 to 40, 13 point lead, 227. Collins back in the game, gets it to Sperry. Sperry can't handle it, goes out of bounds. Over in the corner, and that'll go to the Commodores. Woods will inbound it to Beverly. Beverly up the court quickly for the Commodores. Goes up with a jump shot, no good. Sperry there for the rebound. He's got Collins down here, but he's going to dribble out of the press, cross midcourt, in the lane, puts up the floater to Collins. Collins tips it. Sperry goes up for it, and he tips it in. Yeah, Sperry said, uh, you got me back earlier on that one. Let me get you right here. Woods today. Day shoots the long jump shot. No good off the iron. Woods with a rebound goes back up. Can't get the shot, but we'll have another foul under the basket. And clearly, uh, you can tell that Tyler Day is not 100% right now. He uh, on the last jump shot, he a little gimp right there, um, even running up the, the court. Uh, so uh, I know that ankle's bothering him, and uh, that's unfortunate right now. With over 60 years serving the financial needs in Brevet County, we say thanks to Citizens Bank and Trust of Jackson. 
Breathitt County Farm Bureau. Chuck Price and Seth Holland are big on Breathitt County and Farm Bureau Chuck is Price. big on Kentucky. Breathitt Building and Farm Supply for appliances, hardware, and pipe. Check out Breathitt Building Supply, 666-2454. Breathitt Funeral Home with new owner, Jeff Hamilton. Jeff and his staff will take care of you and your family Jeff. in your time of need. Folks, we'll keep it right here during this timeout. 1.55 on the clock. The Cats with a 15-point lead over the Commodores right now. 14th Region Championship. A trip to Rupp Arena. Hangs in the balance. And, man, the Cats can taste it. 15-point lead with a minute 55 in the fourth. Uh, no place you'd rather be uh, in that position right there. And, uh, you know, the Bobcats just come back out here, handle business, make free throws, uh, you know, make good solid passes, step to the ball. I don't know if you see what I see, but I see a lot of red shirts leaving the building. They're leaving the building. It's gotten a little uh, sparse over there. Uh, you know, uh, a few people saying, I'm going to beat the traffic because I don't want to watch uh, the blue and white celebrate. It's a little early. It's 1.55. There's a lot of time on the clock. I'll tell you what, if anybody can, can pull up a strategy and will his players, it's Shannon Hoskins. That's He's it. got some great athletes on the court, yeah. but these guys right now, with their heads down, they look a little defeated yeah, right now. They, they do, and uh, they, they look frustrated. The Bobcat defense has really set the tone, uh, but Shannon Hoskins a great coach. They've got a great staff over there, Corey Hoskins, and, uh, you know, they, they, uh, you know, they've done a great job. Woods puts up the free throw. First one is good. And McLarnus will come into the game for Ridge Beverly. Who shot that free throw? Uh, Woods. Well, I don't know. Inbounds. Breathitt. Bellamy tries to beat the press now as he gets past Tyler Day. Splits the defense. Goes to the hoop. Ball knocked loose, but it goes out of bounds. No call, no whistle. And, but the ball uh, remains with the Bobcats. Ball will stay with the Cats. All the fans wanting a whistle. Look for Bryce on the seal right here. Collins to inbound it. To Hoskins, now to Bellamy. Luke will pass it to Austin Sperry. Sperry looks inside. He dribbles back to the corner, gets it to Hoskins. Good pass. Over to Collins. Collins passes it back out to Hoskins. Pitch and catch now for the Bobcats as they take the time off the clock. 1.30 on the clock. Sperry will dribble under the basket. Loses a handle. Dylan Knight comes up with it. We'll get it to Trayton Woods. Woods goes up. Shot no good. Tipped. Christian Collins with a rebound. <laughs> Christian with a rebound again. And we got a foul as Christian pulls down the board. Hey, you say pitch and catch down here. Like in football, you would say this is our victory formation. Yeah. Let's go in it. Let's handle the basketball. Uh, make free throws right now. And folks, uh, I don't know if you can feel it at home with these fans here in the stands. Uh, Bobcat Nation can taste this victory. When, when the Cats were passing the ball on this end of the court, people began to cheer and clap and turned it up a notch. They can smell it. It's in yeah. the air. And expect uh, expect the, none of the Bobcats to sit down, uh, Bobcat Nation to sit down. Uh, you're like you said, Rob. They smell it right now. Uh, everybody in the building does. And uh, uh, man, what a what a great game for these Bobcats. This is historic right here. Shot rolls off for Christian Collins. McLaurin's will get it to Beverly. 1:15 on the clock. Beverly going to take the three. He's got to get the team back in it. He nails it. 44-55, 11 point game. Sperry will bring it down the court. He'll dump it off to Combs. Combs over in the corner in front of the scorer's table. He'll get it to Sperry. Sperry will get it fouled by Kaiser Sloan. Sloan hit his fourth. And Sloan's done a great job defensively tonight. He's, he's been quiet for part of the second half, uh, but defensively he's been, been, you know, done a lot for the Commodores. He, that is his fourth foul. Right. Important part of this Commodore team. Sperry steps to the line for his free throws and he hits the first. Perry been a been a clutch performer tonight uh, on and off, but, but uh, especially on the foul line. Second shot for Sperry. He toes the line, takes a breath, and it's nothing but net. McLarnis to inbound to Beverly. Beverly will come down the court. He wants to shoot the three again. He'll get a screen from McLarnis. He'll shoot the long shot. No good. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, under a minute, Bob. We're under a minute, 49 seconds. Spurry with another foul, and that one is on McLarnus. That's his first. Spurry steps to the line, hits the first. Spurry has shot 17 free throws tonight. He's 15 of 17. Folks, we want to remind you that this Commodore team uh, took one from the Cats at home in the Coliseum. Clayton Woods hit a big shot, put them up, and they won by one point. And the Cats, this is how their season has been. They have turned it around. Right now, they're up 59-44. As you see, Dylan Knight put that one in. Inbound the ball to Bellamy. Bellamy gets past the press, dribbles by Day, gets past McLarnus. He'll go in the lane now, playing keep away. Tyler Day being uh, chasing him down, and finally Ridge Beverly will grab him by the hip and stop the clock. Uh, 26 seconds on the clock. Luke, Luke Bellamy out there dribbling that ball out. Look like a Bob Cousy or somebody out there. <laughs> Maybe Curly Neal from the Harlem Globetrotters. Somebody yeah. catch me. And, and I have a correction. Uh, Austin Sperry is 17 of 20 uh, from the foul line. Got, got himself to the foul line 20 times. Bellamy hits the first one. 60 to 46. 14 point lead for the Cats. Caden Turner will come in yeah, we'll for Austin Spurry. Get as Austin Spurry gets a standing ovation. In the crowd in his bench here on John C. Combs Arena. Hugs all around over there. By Bellamy, no good. Knight with the rebound. He'll walk it up the court for the Commodores. 20 seconds now. Woods will shoot a three. Off the back of the iron, no good. Hoskins with the rebound. That may do it. Seconds. That may do it. That'll do it. I believe Bellamy dribbles the ball up court. Throws it up. Collins will chase it down, six seconds, five seconds. Collins with a two-handed slam, the reverse. 360 to finish it off. Ladies and gentlemen, Bluegrass Sports Nation is proud to present to you with the 14th Region Champions, the Bethel High School Bobcats. And, and these boys are hugs all around. Sperry is, is literally in tears right now. He's so happy for his team, and uh, uh, what a great performance by these uh, these young men. The final score on the scoreboard: 62 to 46. As the Bobcats come in to the Commodores' home court, and not only take this one away, but they punch their ticket to Rupp Arena. These uh, these boys are traveling to Central Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky, Rupp Arena for the uh, Sweet 16. And, uh, you know, look out who they face because they're playing some great basketball right now. First time since 96 that this Bobcat Nation has enjoyed the opportunity to go to Central Kentucky and to watch their athletes perform at Rupp Arena. Folks, we are going to keep it right here and show you the celebration. Our producer says we've paid the bills and played the commercials. Well, we'll keep it here and show you guys the celebration that is this Bobcat team. The award ceremony going on, and, uh, you know, this team, man, what, what adversity they faced this season, and uh, uh, I'm so happy for them, and I, as I know you are too, Rob. They, uh, they did a great, great job uh, getting here, uh, getting on a, a hot streak, and then, uh, you know, handling business right here. Coach Kyle Moore uh, brought the troops together. And, uh, man, what an outstanding job they've done. Well, I heard somebody say it uh, yesterday, and, I, and it, it was uh, apparent after that game that they beat Hazard. Uh, these young men missing someone on the bench by the name of B.B. King. They got a lot of reasons to win these ball games. And they got a lot of people uh, counting on them. Yes. Uh, BB's wife, Mrs. King, has been to almost every one of these games since he passed on. And yeah, these, these young men are, are playing for him and not only the community. Yeah, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention uh, yes, Coach King, uh, the legend, uh, before the Knott County game. 
uh, these two uh, schools played and uh, gave him a moment of silence and uh, honored him. And he's affected so many young men's lives. And, and uh, he really had an uh, impact on these boys uh, for uh, the time he was uh, at Breathitt County High. And uh, just hats off to, to or, you know, his family. And, and uh, man, what a job he did. And, you know, it's a nice honor that these boys could, uh, you know, get to the, the state tournament. And that's what they hired BB for, was to get them to the next, uh, the next round. And, uh, did a great job with them, and man, it's a it's a big night. As we begin the trophy presentation here on the John C. Combs Arena, Brendan Miller out there with the the Kodak man, Kodak camera moment. They are presenting uh, the cheerleader awards here first. As you look across the court, you see Austin Sperry getting uh, interviewed. The young man has played. It seemed like every game he found another notch. He found another gear. And tonight, phenomenal. Phenomenal performance tonight. I mean, uh, you know, like you said, 17 to 20 from the foul line. Uh, uh, had, had, a, had a huge night offensively. Uh, you know, when you're going to the line that much, that means one thing: you're you're taking it to the hole, and uh, you're getting ha you're getting hacked, you're getting fouled. Uh, he got an intentional foul here and was able to capitalize on that. But he he put his team on his on his back and, and, and went to the hole tonight. Well, congratulations to the Bethel cheerleading squad, as they have been announced as the 14th region uh, cheerleading champions here during the tournament. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, and we we already knew uh, knew those uh, yeah. results, but it's uh, it's nice. Uh, they're, they're champions, and uh, and their basketball team is champions as well. They will get their trophy presentation. As now, Coach Kyle Moore takes his turn behind the microphone as he's interviewed. He's, uh, he, this is the TV. Well, I tell you what. And congrats, congratulations to uh, the, these Breath of County cheerleaders. Uh, they, they put the blood, sweat, and tears out there just like uh, just like the boys do. And, and uh, what we got right now, we have the all-tournament team. Is yeah, that they're right? announcing the all-tournament team. Sawyer Thompson from uh, Wolf County. Wolf County. Haddix. Haddix from Knott Central. Jaden Huff from... Uh, Letcher. Also, Adams. Caden Adams from Letcher. Big man in the middle. Yes. Jamel Hazel from Hazard. Landon Smith also. But, uh, yeah, I, I would agree with uh, Rachel on our comments there. Peggy Moore would be so proud of this team, Kyle. Her and BB are smiling down from above. Absolutely, with that absolutely, absolutely. Uh, uh, Peggy Moore, a legend in herself. I mean, and just an outstanding coach, player. Uh, you know, and, and Kyle, the, uh, the, the apple doesn't fall from yeah. from the tree right there. So, well, both of these clubs have battled uh, throughout the season, and if you look on paper. On paper, Perry Central, I think, came into this regional tournament uh, fourth, uh, yes. even behind Letcher Central. And they were able to come in and knock off Letcher and find their way uh, to the championship game here against the Cats. The Cats able to improve week in and week out. Uh, There's a lot of controversy. There's a lot of adversity that they overcame. Uh, yeah, as Luke Bellamy comes out. Each of these young men uh, you know, had their own things to face with not only the flood, but with the passing of their coach. And to see them get this opportunity, it really means a lot to this community. Oh, it does. And, uh, you know, uh, congratulations to, to Perry Central for, uh, you know, like you said, the fourth seed really and uh, uh, coming in here and battling. And uh, they're, they're always in the mix, it seems like. Yeah. And uh, we've seen Coach Hoskins. You and I have witnessed Coach Hoskins uh, and his teams do some 
do some uh, amazing things on the court. Uh, amazing things. And, and, and when you, you, you don't ever count them out, you know. Right. Uh, you think about the coaches that and, and, the, and the athletes that these Bobcats have overcome, not only Coach Hoskins and this Perry County team, but an excellent hazard team coached by Coach Al Holland. Yeah, I mean, you you, you, you kind of stack that up and start talking about this this stuff that the that the Bobcats have done this year and uh, the things that they've able to, to accomplish. It's going to be a, a historic uh, a season right there. Well, as we continue with uh, and we continue with some uh, medal presentations for uh, both teams. They are passing out medals to each player on the. Perry Central Commodore uh, team. We'll get the runner up medals. Folks, we're glad you tuned in here on, Blue, here on Bluegrass Sports Nation. I know it's uh, it's been one of those days that was highly anticipated by not only two communities, Perry County and Bertha County, by, but, but also by a lot of people in the state. Uh, you know, we're up to about up to about 690 views there at one point, and uh, that's that's uh, that's that's pretty amazing that's that you huge. guys can that be logged on watching. Uh, is that on YouTube? Six, 690, something on YouTube right now, and four or something on Facebook. So, oh, God, thank you. Yeah, we appreciate each we, and uh, every one. We appreciate every one of you guys out there that's uh, streamed in, tuning yeah. in, and watching this on Bluegrass Sports Nation. Sean and I, we pretty sure enjoy this. We have a good time. Man. It's, uh, it's one of those moments when we just kind of pull up a recliner and get to talk about sports and enjoy watching the athletes that we yeah. have here. Well, the pleasure's all mine, Rob. I mean, we, uh, uh, we, we've been doing these games, and uh, we've uh, you know, I have a good connection here, and, uh, I'm, and all the staff here with us, Ty, Darren, Rob, Tony, you know, uh, Brendan, it's been a, uh, it's been a pleasure. It really is. Uh, we, we love bringing these, bringing these uh, games to you guys. We love bragging on all these athletes. You know, it's it's, it's hard to be unbiased. And I'm up here in a blue bob, bobcat shirt. Uh, but I, I will tell you that we have some great athletes in this 14th region. Uh, you start looking at the teams that, that competed here this weekend and, and this week, and uh, you know you you could. You could take a mixture of these teams and, and uh, go to Rupp Arena and probably call, make some noise down there. Absolutely. With these you, players. You, could, you could take either uh, you know, the, the semifinals, uh, you know, guys that, that made it here, Hazard, Letcher Central, Perry Central, you know, I said Bobcats won, but, you know, any, any one of those teams are going to represent the 14th region with, uh, uh, you know, good athletes and, uh, and great coaching. Continue with the medal presentations here at uh, midcourt as uh, coaching staff for the uh, Commodores uh, continue to get their medals. And uh, trophy presentation coming here shortly for the runners up, the Perry Central Commodores. Will be runners up in the 14th region. And a very difficult time to do that. Uh, you know, uh, as Coach Hoskins comes out and gets his, uh, gets his award, I, uh, I was in the fi I'm fortunate enough to be in the finals of one region regional at, when I was coaching at Lafayette High School and uh, Scott County got us and uh, we had to sit there for the awards and man it's a it's a it's a tough pill to swallow uh, when you're on that end of it. But congratulations to Perry Central. Well, Coach Hoskins always does a heck of a job with the troops that he has and the personnel he has. Uh, you know, I, you, you talk about Kaiser Sloan, you talk about Tyler Day, Rich Beverly, Carter Castle, Dylan Knight, Trey Woods. I mean, these, yes. these kids, these kids are going to be stars on any team, but you put them together. Coach Hoskins does a great job of working with, uh, you know, all the different talents that each uh, player has and right. able to put them in positions and get the most out of each player. And we've watched him pull some ball games back in tough situations. And come out on the winning side. Yes. Oh, yes. I so, mean, he, he's uh, you know he's not only their uh, he's not only their head coach. He, right. You know these are his boys. Yep. Uh, you know as a coach myself, I mean you don't you don't uh, spend a season or four seasons, however many you've got with uh, any given player, and you don't uh, you develop relationships, and uh, it's a very uh, it's a very you feel everything that that young man feels, and uh, you go on and. Uh, you try to try to make the best of it and make them the best man they could possibly be. Well, the Breathitt Board of Education has come on to the court. 
uh, to, to present the medals to the 14th Region champions, the Bethel Bobcats. Bobcats. So Josh Combs, Ben Wooten. Josh Combs, Ben Wooten. You know, this is a community win right here. This is not just a, these boys. Yeah. They, uh, you know, a lot of people behind, everybody I talked to today was talking about this game, you know, so. so. Isaac Bellamy. Oh, yeah, everybody's been talking about it. I think it's been on everybody's, the top of everybody's radar. Caden Turner coming on the court. It's been on the top of everybody's radar uh, since the buzzer sounded against Hadley. And Braxton who's, Terry. Who's that guy right there? Just got a haircut, if you can't tell. Yeah, right? Yeah. He just got a medal for a uh, 14th region champion, too. Uh, Campbell on the court. Jackson Hamilton next. Jackson Hamilton, fine young player. Jackson and, and Brantley. Brantley was out just in front of Jackson. Those two were, were uh, fine shooters on that on this ball club. Very Jackson gets a lot of varsity minutes. And then there's Brady Brady Johnson. Andrew Combs. Combs. <laughs> Austin Sperry. The high flyer, Austin Sperry. Well, what do you say about Austin? I mean, like we said, phenomenal. Man, I'll tell you what. He, uh, like I said, put his team on his back. He and Collins. Uh, and uh, everybody else on this uh, 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 starting basketball uh, team for breath it, they, uh, they just, uh, they wheeled themselves to this position. And it's been a bit awesome. Ross Hoskins and Luke Bellamy, and now Christian Collins. And the managers, Shuey, Jordan Shuey. Shoemaker. Shuey coming out doing his, uh, his dance <laughs> right there. Yeah. Yeah. These boys, uh, Thomas Mitchell. You you play basketball. You play any sports for uh, opportunity to win a championship. Uh, both these teams have had an opportunity right here, but you would never forget this. I mean, you're going, yeah. to, you're you punched your ticket to Rupp Arena, the Sweet 16. And as in Kentucky, uh, uh, anybody that's a resident of Kentucky knows that that's uh, that's where you want to be in March. James Ogans, Coach Roy, Coach Turner, JV Coach, Andrew Sewell. Wes Noble. David Kyle Abner. <clears throat> James Turner. A lot of Bobcat fans oh, yeah. going to recognize that young man's name. Coach Turner. Go on to the court. With his medal. Coach Turner has another one of those medals, I think, somewhere. And the football coach, the athletic director, and the basketball coach, Kyle Moore. <laughs> and, and, and the bus driver. Needs no introduction. Yeah. Congratulations to Coach Kyle Moore and the Breath of County Bobcats. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Bluegrass Sports Nation, proud to present you with the 14th Region Champions. The Bethany High Bobcats. Rob, are we going to Rupp or what? We're going to find a way. We've got to firm it down there. We'll firm it. We'll firm it down there. We've we got to get tickets. we got to get on that. We will find a way. Folks, we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up here on Bluegrass Sports Nation. We want to say special thanks again for tuning in on such a special night for the Bethany Bobcats. For Brendan Miller, Darren Back, Tony Hounshill. Sean Noble. They're going to cut the nets down. Tie back. I'm Rob Hounshell. We'll see you again on Bluegrass Sports Nation. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, fans. <laughs>